Hi everyone, I'll be showing how you can remove Windows from your dual boot setup with Linux. I'm currently running Fedora KDE using LVM with Windows 10. I'm at the Grub bootloader, and so there's Fedora, my rescue option, and Windows. So I'm going to go into Fedora. So there's three steps to remove Windows. First is removing the EFI boot files. Second is removing Windows itself. And third is modifying Grub. So I'm going to remove the EFI boot files. I'm going to open up Dolphin or File Explorer. When first installing Linux in the install process, most likely going to be using the same EFI directory as Windows. So I'm going to go into that directory. So it'll be under boot and it's going to be under EFI. And then authorizations required to enter this folder, act as administrator. I understand and accept the risks and put in my password. And then I'm going to go into the EFI directory. And so there's the boot directory, there's Fedora, and then there's a the Microsoft directory. And inside it, it has the boot directory and the recovery directory. Going out and out again, and then select Microsoft and then delete. Yes, I want to permanently delete. So it's removed, and I'm going to go out of this directory. And here we see there's a few other folders that we don't need, the recycle bin directory. I don't need this directory, so I'm going to delete this as well. And then there's the system volume information. I'm going to be deleting this as well. Right click, delete, delete permanently. And this Mac kernel file here, it was created during the Linux install process, so I'm going to keep it. So the files and directories related to Windows in this EFI directory have been removed. And next is removing Windows. And I'm going to open up a console just to give some context. I'm going to sudo in. Put in my password. And I'm going to type in fdisk-l, so it's going to list my disks and partitions. And so we see at the top here, dev sda one is my EFI partition, which had the Windows EFI boot files, and it has the Linux EFI boot files. SDA2 says Linux file system. It's actually a Microsoft reserved partition, which I will discuss later. SDA3, it's a Microsoft basic data partition. It's my C drive. And SDA4 is the Windows recovery environment, which I will remove as well. So I'm going to remove dev SDA3, the Microsoft basic data partition. And so if I go back into Dolphin, my basic data partition. So I'm going to mount it, just so you can see. Put in my password. And so here it is, my C drive. There's the Windows directory. And so I'm going to remove this entire partition. And to do that, I'm going to use gparted which is the graphical version of Pardon, Partition Editor. I'm going to put in gparted. If you don't have it, you can install it. In my case, as seen, I can get it using Software Center. And at the top right, it says Install. So I'm going to install. And it's installed, and I'm going to launch it. Put in my password. All right, and gparted comes up. And dev SDA2, which I mentioned earlier, and if we go back, it's seen as Linux file system, but it's actually the Microsoft Reserve partition. SDA3, my basic data partition, it's my C drive. And SDA4 is the Microsoft recovery partition. So 2, 3, and 4, I'm going to be deleting. So 2, right click, delete. 3, you'll notice that if you right click, I have to unmount it first, that's because I was accessing it in Dolphin. So I'm just going to close it. I'm going to unmount, delete it. And lastly, it's going to be dev SDA4, delete. And then at the bottom, it says three operations pending, and now I'm going to apply. Hit the check mark. And yes, I want to apply. And it has completed. I'm going to go to details, and we see here it's deleted the partitions, so that's good. 
So I have all of this unallocated space, 427 gigs and 523 megs here. And so I'm using LVM and I'm going to be putting all this space into it. Going back into the console. And then I type in VG display. This will display my volume group information for LVM. And so it says here at the top, my name, it's Fedora. That's the name of my volume group. And then the volume group size here, it's 47 gigabytes. So I'm going to be adding all of that unallocated space to this volume group so it can be used. So going back into Gparted, and then I'm going to be creating a partition for this unallocated space and this unallocated space. And the reason why that it's going to create two partitions instead of just one, it's because the unallocated space is not contiguous. There are some partitions that are in between. So I'll have to create two partitions, but it's still going to be fine. Right click, new. And then the file system is going to be LVM to PV, add. And there's new partition number one. And then for the second one, new. LVM to PV, add. And so new partition number two. I'm going to apply, apply. I go to details and we see that they have been created. So that's good. Close. And so dev SDA2 and dev SDA3 have been created. And I'm going to go back into my terminal, type in PV display. This will show all of the physical volumes. And so scrolling up. And so dev SDA6, that is already there as we see here in Gparted. And here it says there's two new volumes that it sees, dev SDA2 and dev SDA3. Now let's say it does not see the new physical volumes, then it'll need to be initialized. So PV creates, this will initialize the physical volumes, dev SDA2 and dev SDA3 so that it recognizes it belonging to LVM. Okay, it's successfully created and now do it for SDA3. And now it's successfully created, so that's good. And if I do a PV display again, and then you'll see it there. And now I'm gonna do VG display, so it'll show the volume group. And so now I'm going to extend my volume group Fedora. So VG extend Fedora, and I'll do dev SDA2. And it's successfully extended. So if I do a VG display again, we can see right away that the VG size has changed and it's now at 475 gigabytes compared to before it was only at 47. And then now I'm going to do a VG extend for dev SDA3. Do a VG display again. And so we can see that the VG size has increased again to .84 compared to .33 from earlier. And now that the space is in the volume group, I'll need to put this on the logical volume now. So first I'm going to do a logical volume display, LV display. And so there's my LV path slash dev slash fedora slash root size of 47.83 gigabytes. So if I were to do a df-h, you can see there it's at the top there and the size is 47 gigabytes. So lv extend dash l plus 100% free. So it's going to use all of the free space, dev fedora root, enter. And then we can see the size of the logical volume, fedora root changed from 47 gigabytes to 475 gigabytes. And then the logical volume for our root successfully resized. So if I do an LV display again, we can see now that it's 475 gigabytes compared to before. And if I do a df-h, and you'll know slash, it's still at 47 gigabytes. That's because I have to resize my file system here. And I'm using ext4. I'll be using resize to fs. And if I want to double check my file system type to confirm, I can type in ls block dash f. 
and we see there under Fedora root that it is ext4. So now I'm going to resize dev Fedora root. All right, and it has completed. And if I do a df-h again, and so we can see at the top that there is now 469 gigabytes for the size. And so if I want to test, I can use fallocate or fallocate pwd to check my working directory. And I'll specify a size of, let's say, 100 gigabytes. And I'll just call it test file. And so do a list. And so there's the file at the bottom. And if I do a df-h again, and so we see the used space has increased. So it's working as expected. And now I'm going to remove my test file. And lastly, I'm going to remove the Windows entry from Grub. So I can just make a new Grub configuration file and it won't find any information about Windows. So Fedora uses Grub2. Grub2, make config, dash O, and then the location of the Grub configuration file. So it'll be under boot, Grub2 and then grub.cfg. And now I'm going to reboot. And grub comes up and we see Fedora and there's no Windows, so it's been removed, so that's good. And just going to boot into Fedora just to confirm. It boots up as expected. So that's it. That's how you can remove Windows from your dual boot with Linux using LVM. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.